It's not. It's, that goes the same thing for relationships. It's the same thing for money. Oh, child, we're, thing for we're relationship area. Well, we let's are. go there. Carmen, is you going to marry Jennifer Hudson? Right. Because Tiffany had to say she hope you do. You see her down there in the comments? Girl, she still ain't over there. I wonder, is that dig good? I don't think it's big. I think it might be good, though. You don't think it's big? You think it's good? It's good. I don't think it's big. Listen, just because you got a big dick don't mean it's good. Because I've had really big dick, and I've been like, girl, bye. Oh. Dear Lord. But wait a minute. We, we got to hear what, um, where's the, uh, up here? Oh, hear what he had yeah, to what say. Yeah, what he had to say. Put put the um, picture back up, though, because I want to make sure you all saw that comment down there. So, so comment says on the Breakfast Club, and I'm going to play the audio for you, that he was he was considering marrying Jennifer Hudson. And then there's Tiffany Haddish down there saying, well, I hope they actually get married. Girl, let that go. But here's what he said. Creating happiness and creating joy and creating love and, and like embracing the grace that exists. So this is somebody, you know, and it's something, man, you kind of, when you with somebody who's from where you're from, it's a different kind of connection too. Uh, that's, that's something else. But I mean, I, she's from where I'm from spiritually. She's from where I'm from, from like from where we geographically come from, the shot. And you know, just from where I'm from as a person, like one of the things that that I felt was before I, we even started was together. We were doing this movie, and um, this security guard said to me, "He was." I came to the set. He was like, "Man, you and Jennifer Hudson, two of the coolest celebrities I ever met, man." I was like, "What? Well, for real?" He's like, "Oh, y'all real cool." And he was like, "She just bought this ice cream for all these people here on the, the set." I was like, "Man, I just like people to treat people good. That's part of the home too for me." So. Yeah, I mean, she is, she, she there, bro. You seem the happiest. So you yeah. saying you want to get married? I mean, it sounds like to me. I mean, I mean, if, like me. I mean if, if I'm going to get married, it's to her. <clears throat> she better get her children out of there twice. That man need a man. Really, Maddie? Expl please elaborate. Could you elaborate on that comment, Maddie? <laughs> Y'all mean they be doing all that motherfucker jumping up and uh, down. Bulky and barring from relationship to relationship. Y'all need a man because somebody's going to ground you because you ain't ground because them, them cunts ain't doing, doing what you need. They only giving you what they're fulfilling because they, the people in your household told you you need to do that. But bitch, you need a man. Or something with some nuts and a dick like you that can really challenge you. A trainee? That too. A pre-op trainee. I think it was a pre-op trainee. Just something that got some nuts. Because he didn't dated. Uh, he now with Jennifer. Because it's too many beautiful. It's too many beautiful women. He, he dated Angela Rye, Serena Williams, Erica Badu. I don't know if he dated the least. Wait a minute, that Erica Badu put that witch pussy on him, so they probably shook that up. To everybody. She, she put that witch pussy on him. That shit done went. That shit shook the mind up. Look, that that was that was about the closest to duality because I believe that do it. If you got, if, I, I do believe if, if some of the men need to work op, deal with the people that operate in duality. He dated Taraji too. That was the other one. Maddie, Taraji. Durant uh, said this though. Who? Hold on, hold on. I'm about to put it up here. It, he dated Taraji, Serena Williams, Jennifer Hudson, and Angela Rye. That didn't look. Maddie, Erica Badu. You can have a little dick and still be trash. Durant said this: Gay men do the same thing to other men. So they need a woman. They need a therapist. He need to go lay down on somebody's couch. <laughs> them gay men need to have a, they need a woman. He need a therapist. Get that and a man. Go, go lay down. Them gay <laughs> men need a woman. Go That's lay down I mean. on they somebody's a, couch. They need a motherfucker. Uh, they need a real kind to come through there. The ones I, I believe the balance be off because they 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 they, they ain't fluctuating what they need. Them gay ones. Them gay ones need a kind. I, they need a cunt. I think he's bisexual. Now, they, I'm need a, you, they need a cunt to come through there and shake it up. Well, whatever he is, he ain't heterosexual. <laughs> he fine, though. I saw him one oh. time. At, oh, sorry. You okay? I kicked this. I'm a oh. mistake. Girl, you're a scary girl. I'm right. right. There's right. too many wives under here. <laughs> right. Like, girl, I can't get electrocuted with you. <laughs> too many wives. He fine as shit, though. I saw him at the Four Seasons one time, and I was coming down the stairs. He was coming up. Okay, so I and he said, excuse me, do you know where the restroom is? I said, yeah, it's over here. You, you need me to show you where it is? 
<laughs> you was gonna go in there and suck it, Greg. I, I, I was gonna at least touch. Would you go in there? No, you, <laughs> no, when a man tell you to show him with a bed, you go in there and you suck it. You don't be asking no. You don't. You go in there and he come. Can you come in here and suck my dick, sir? You'd be like, girl. You know what? I'm a top, but girl. <laughs> Listen, top suck me too. Yes, hey! they yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, no, no. I wasn't. No. Oh, I'm not a top. He messed up. <laughs> I'm not a top. He's a one on Let's be clear here, Keisha. Keisha, let's be clear here. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Who's coming here to sit? Miss Keisha, come in here and sit, girl. Miss Keisha, Miss Keisha, come sit. Miss Keisha, come sit. And I, and if y'all wondering why I say the word Keisha, it's because of that movie, uh, 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 uh honey, honey, how we said I don't give a fuck, Keisha. Come in here and sit, Keisha. What's his name? Keisha, come here and sit. You need to be aware. Just because I have my bird, that's not where I go. <laughs> and anytime a man comes in and he goes for my bird, that's not my husband. I've said this on countless times. If a man comes in the in the in the vacinity and he goes for my bird, we jumping off. Okay, and that's it. That's it. You come in, you come and seeking the bird for me. I'm gonna give you the duck. You will receive the duck, but you're not gonna receive all the other things. And maybe that's a flaw that I have that probably would that probably would keep me from my own husband. But bitch, you come in the door looking for duck meat <laughs> with duck sauce. With duck meat and duck sauce, that makes me feel that you are a duck connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> like mallard, mallard, and bitch. If you, mallard. if you if you're chasing the duck, <laughs> I'm only I'm only a moment. I'm we only having a good time. Cause I'm gonna give you the duck that you need, the Aflac. That's right, Joshua Aflac. Aflac, 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 Aflac. Did I ever tell you about these girls that I used to run with in LA? They used to do a scam with Aflac. Girl, give me the tea, bitch, because I bitch? used to work with something in Florida. But come on, <laughs> <laughs> baby. When I lived in LA, Los Girl. Angeles. Yes, Myrtle. Don't don't you ever don't you let these cunts fool you. These cunts are Nigerian too. Nine <laughs> 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 to the four. Bitch, I learned how to do stunts and shit from a motherfucking cunt, bitch. I learned how to burn tags off of clothes, bitch, from the cunt. So I why, could... so why are you always coming for Africans with the the foreign? Because that's 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 our motherland. <laughs> we all came from Nigeria. When the faggots in Atlanta and New York and Texas were still doing credit card and check fraud, girl, the cunts was terrible. Not the, the insurance. The homosexuals in L.A. They were on to the insurance, bitch, bitch. I met I met a girl that was doing the insurance, bitch, over there. And what's that? What's that motherfucking insurance company over there? Off of off of uh 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 when you coming down ninety five, that's over there by the square, assurance, assurance. bitch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those girls were tearing assurance to pieces. Well, it, wasn't assurance. It, wasn't assurance. it was called something else. But what was it called before it was assurance? Because let me tell you something, bitch. They would not. Because they had spin it up. Yeah, it, it, let me tell together. you. Because, bitch, with job core, we the job core girls. And when you went to what's that shit when you go to school and they give you the job, the job, um, job, job fair. You go to job fair, but it's something when you not ROTC, girl. Oh, that's you would go to school. Work. What happens? School to go to work. Yeah. Okay, Oh, you go to school and go to work. They go to work, and they, oh, they oh. was giving us jobs, like an internship or something. They was giving us jobs over there because South Ridge was right there, and this insurance company was right there. So it's a job core. Yeah. No, not job not core. core. I know what you're talking about. It's, when you go to school, when you after school, I mean, not kind of like an internship or, or they yeah. was giving us jobs work over studies. there. People are saying work I was trying to get a job over there, and I knew three or four. Well, we we yeah. called it practicum. I knew three or four cunts that went that I went to school with that started working over there, bitch. And then by the time they got in and learned the system, bitch, by the time we got grown, uh -huh. and I had started transitioning, girl, uh -huh. and they were saying, Girl, you want some titties? This is how you <laughs> this, this is how you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> she said, I got it. This, this is how you're gonna pay for it. Well, girl, let me tell you about the homosexuals in Los Angeles. God rest one of their souls. Oh Lord. Baby, yeah, what was it called? so it said OJT. When I lived oh, in L <laughs> when I lived in Los Angeles, let me tell you this story. When I lived in LA, Aflac, for those of you who don't know, it's a subsidy. It's a subsidized insurance. So, like, if you go out on like a medical leave or something like that, mm -hmm. and you pay for 
Aflac out of your check weekly or however often they take it, when you go out of work, they'll still pay you while you're out of work, while you're off work. Baby, when I say these homosexuals in LA, one of them worked for a doctor's office. One of them worked for a doctor's office. The doctor had a signature stamper with his signature, you know, to stamp his signature. Oh. And with Aflac, you had to fill out the medical form with the doctor's signature and send it in. And then they would pay you while you were off. Bitch, when I tell you these faggots were not off work, they were still going to their job, collecting their regular paycheck. And they were still collecting a, an Aflac check, bitch. So they were getting an Aflac che check, check, and a work check, bitch. That is, um, that's a felony, bitch. You can play with that insurance fraud if you want to, bitch. So they were double dipping, because Af there was no checks and balances. So Aflac didn't know that they weren't really off work. Well, quiet as is kept. That's what that punk was doing. That sitting next to that fat hoe in the in the closet over there doing stunts with that other queen that they hang with. Really? That's what he's doing. Yes, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Starving. That's what that child over there doing, girl. Talking about they all got 800 credit scores. No, you 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 fluctuated the system. Right. Punk. You you fluctuated the system, girl. When I tell you that's some straight up fraud. She's a fraudulent girl. And if you check her resume, she hangs with a whole heap of fraudulent girls. But here's the other part. So the the, the one fag got worked for the doctor's office. And so let's say I wanted to get, let's say I had Aflat. And I was still going to work. And they would do it around like Christmas time, bitch. Like, you know, you're trying to buy Christmas gifts and shit. So you still going to work, going to work, getting your check. And so I would say to you, to this one faggot, hey, um, can you give me a doctor's note so I can send it to my Aflac? I'd have to pay you for that slip. But like he would charge like $125. So I have to pay you to give you a doctor's note, to give me a doctor's note. Which is really nothing because then you're getting an extra six, seven hundred dollars a week or every two weeks or whatever the fuck it is, plus your check. One thing a punk gonna do is know how to survive. I ain't even gonna sit up here in front of you. I'm not even gonna hold you. A punk gonna know how to get it, get it. You motherfuckers ain't gonna give it to us the correct way. We're gonna definitely steal it. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna lie to you. Come on, Craig, tell your truth. I am. It's okay to tell your truth. I am. Bitch, listen, it's okay to tell your truth. You don't, I don't had a car repossessed from me. I've before. had four. I don't been evicted, motherfucking on. So, bitch, every time I sell, I'm gonna celebrate me. And you hoes gonna you hoes not gonna stop me from saying I'm rich, bitch, and doing the things that I'm doing. You're not gonna stop me. I'm gonna celebrate me, bitch, because I've been I've been in poverty. I've been homeless. I've been the things, bitch. I done crafted. I have written a check, bitch. I have motherfucking goddamn boosted. I have done the things. Mm-hmm. And I have been incarcerated once for them. <laughs> I've never been incarcerated for prostitution, though. Never. Now, I ain't been to jail, but I've definitely written checks. Oh, you haven't been to jail? No, I haven't. Oh, girl, I have. <laughs> I've written checks. I've You've used... never been to jail? No, I have not. I have been a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I've used credit cards. And here's the thing. When I tell you when I first moved out there, well, not when I first moved out there, but towards the end of my time there, I had gotten fired because I think I've told you I've gotten fired from every job that I've had. Me too. <laughs> Everyone. You, that, almost, you that, almost got fired from this one. Had you said one more thing about Miss Nella's gender, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> See? The facts were done. <laughs> you see the girls prophesizing that, girl. They, they, they want us to be done. Girl, they, they were prophesizing that, girl. But say what you think, we're going to get to that. Right, okay. So I've gotten fired from every job. And so I was in between jobs. Maybe one of them LA faggots. Said, don't worry about it. I got a doctor uh -huh. that can write you a note and you can get you short term disability. Hey, go forth, Craig, and your business. Hey, I'm by myself. Bitch, when I tell you, he let me. He, oh, he, baby, oh, yes. I had to pay the doctor. Oh, yes. To get my short term disability notice. Oh, yes. But he had a nurse that wasn't on top of her business. And oh, so yes. I put the money in. And when I went to pay her, somehow she missed her smock. And so the money fell down on the floor. And when she turned her back, I had gathered my money back up. He had gathered it up, I girl. I sure did. And she oh, still yeah. gave me the slip. Oh, my and I God. I got my short-term disability. And it let me. I coasted on that short-term disability until I got my unemployment. My God. Amen. 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 It's the same thing I did when the hoes fried me over there at a uh, track phone. I told y'all the story. 
Bitch, I got unemployment, me, bitch. I told him, listen, either you can pay me while I'm motherfucking in a job or I can be at home watch, eating bun buns, watching the young and the motherfucking restless. You, can, you make your choice. Right. <laughs> you, make, you choose. Right. Because I'm going to get mine. One way or the other. I'm going to get mine. I'm a punk. Okay. I'm going to get mine. Baby, when I said that homosexual said to me, he said, listen, they're going to deny your unemployment. He said, but I'm going to show you what to do. Oh, I'm yeah. going to tell you what to write on that paper. Ooh. 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 Anything Ooh. come for me. Anything. Ooh. Ooh. My mom made some pigeon peas and rice. Ooh. Ooh. Can you give me some ice when you go there, please? Because I, I need me another cocktail. Baby, she made some... Um, she Thank made you. Some, is this Thank you. stew chicken? Yeah. She made some stew chicken? Yes, ma'am. Forgive us for chewing because we're going to chew. We're going to chew. Don't forgive us because you hoes eating home at home too. Right now, watching us. Good day. Uh, good day. Thank you. Start leaders. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. Let it be for the rest of Amen. Amen. Ooh. Mm. Say, did anything come for me? Yeah, anything. Mm. Girl, this bitch know it be good. It always be good, bitch. Always be good for this. Well, oh, my God. you not eating. Yeah, I got more, more, more. I'm going to go back up there. Oh, mm -hmm. ooh. They said she was running the name. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Thank you, Miss Mary. This God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. They say just eat Sunday dinner. Mm -mm -mm. They say they love it when y'all eat live. Really? Listen, this is show we do what the fuck we want to do over here. Who else going to work nowhere? <laughs> Bitch, and again, Craig, this is our show. Mm -hmm. That because I, I had to get up there and battle about it. This is our show. You paid your hair, you had your money. You paid your hair, I paid mine. And this, our show together. this is our show together, right? He Hello, let's say it again. This ain't my show, this is our show together. The Maddie mm -hmm. in the Morning Show, mine, mm -hmm. but this out the mm -hmm. bag talk is our show. Uh -huh. I can't move, you don't move. <laughs> if you don't move, I can't move. Right. Hello. She, uh, she uh, mm. Thank you. Know, you. Yeah, right here. I just think. Oh, what? I'm going to get you another one. Oh, all right. Sorry. Thank you. She's making your food right now. I'm going to throw this for you. I appreciate you. Baby, these pigeon peas and rice. Baby. I'm right here. Y'all don't need to see me. Girl. Baby, these pigeon peas. <laughs> these pigeon peas. These pigeon peas. These pigeon peas and what rice. What's your whole camera uh, You got to go out. Oh, let, me, let, me let me tell y'all something. You young hoes that don't know how to cook, I don't know what your big mama was teaching you, bitch. Y'all hoes out there in the street fucking niggas. <laughs> That's why y'all ain't got no niggas now. <laughs> you hey, in between niggas. Hey, I'm right here. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey. God, let me see hey. <laughs> so I let them. I let them get a get it on the mo cam real quick, mm -hmm. so they mm. can see Chi Chi. That chicken looks good. Really? You don't eat me, huh? Not, not only chicken. fish. Only ass meat. That too. <laughs> only booty meat. Baby, I'm listen, this is the last of a breed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because baby, they don't make them like that. They're they, they last of a breed. Them hold this and listen, when I find me a punk that know how to cook and fry season and stuff like that, too, I'll be like, hey, mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Because there's some punks I didn't know how to motherfucking throw down. Burn. That it's can some, burn. It's some punks that Big Mama talk, was in that kids taught them. Mm hmm. I wanted the pump. Mm -hmm. Did you can cook? <laughs> she should be cooking. Really? Mm -hmm. She should be cooking. You know, just pick up, when you, my thing is when you know how to cook, you just pick up different traits from different people and you just add it to what you want to do. I don't get into it. Do. Right. I'm not domestic. So I, I watch these marriage and certain things. I watch my own. Things. I don't get into it. I'm not domestic. Hold on. Excuse me. I don't get into it. I'm not domestic. Oh, I ain't going to have no good husband. I'm going to cheat on him because he's going to be out cheating on me. <laughs> I don't feel like Thank you, Chichi. I don't feel the purpose in cooking for no nigga. Eat at that other bitch house. Oh. <laughs> oh. Cause they had no Ooh. shirt on underneath this hoodie. You did? I said I don't have no shirt. They said they could see my your my nipples. Chest. My chest. I ain't say nipples. Your nipples. Chest. I said chest. And that's because I ain't got no shirt underneath this hoodie. Huh? It's nipples. Chest, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, G so, Craig, mm -hmm. I love that Beyonce is really behind Kamala like this. 
I love that. Yes, God. I had heard that Beyonce and uh, I heard this. Now I don't know and this. Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift are doing a fundraiser. For I that. saw that too. I, I don't know if that's true, but I, I, I hope, hope that, it that, is. I hope that that is true. Were they doing what? A, a, a benefit concert. Oh, really? Uh huh. I hope so. Now I will say that. Oh, that'll make money. Just like we were talking earlier about um, the Divine Nine, which is you familiar with that? No, tell me. The Divine Nine is just all of the black fraternities and sororities that have come together to get behind her. Mm -hmm. So it's the males and the females. The Divine Nine are behind her. Remember, it was spearheaded by those 44,000 black women. Then there were um, some black men that jumped online. Then there were some white women who jumped online. You have Hispanics for Harris. You have white men for Harris. You have LGBTQ or queer men or queer people so for Harris. So guess what? We're the fags for Harris. Right. But... The Swifties for Harris have, have, have come together too. <clears throat> to come in support of her and to raise money to get people to vote. And again, if you don't have money to donate to the campaign, vote, vote, yeah. register people to vote. Oh, and speaking of that, I reached out to City Winery. So if you're coming to the August 14th show at City Winery, we're going to be registering people to vote. Come on, Rick. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna be registering people to vote. Definitely facts for facts for Kamala. Right. Um, but you can drive people to the polls, register people to vote, whatever you can do to help. All yeah, of it counts. I actually saw her uh thing with uh on RuPaul. Uh, oh yeah, what you call it? Uh huh. She came to the All Stars. Yes. Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means you got to meet her. Then. I didn't get. I wasn't there. Oh, damn. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. That was the week after. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Thank you, Healing Trauma Now. Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance, said that basically trying to disparage her, Kamala, thank you, by saying she's a cat lady because she doesn't have children. And I knew that that was going to fuck him up. I knew that was going to fuck him up. He was basically trying to suggest it because she doesn't have a family. That how can she be the VP? But what about all of the women who don't have children? Right. What about all of the women who can't have children? Millennia was a whore. <laughs> well, you said was. That, that implies past tense. Millennia, Trump bought Millennia on motherfucking Russian bitches with suckdick.com. Bitch, and he bought her on Klarna. <laughs> for this easy payment was the, this was the first lady of the united states let her be right but a lot of white women were really offended by that the cat lady comment because there are women and not just white women but there are a lot of women who have fertility issues right going through rounds and rounds and rounds of ivf so a lot of those white women did not like that shit and a lot of women who were republican who are now like, oh, fuck that. Even down in Florida, there was a whole golf cart parking lot rally. People who were traditionally and historically Republican Republicans are now for Harris. Mm. Will Florida turn blue? I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Will Florida turn blue? Now, that would be huge. Is DeSantis still in power? Oh, but I think they are. I think he's definitely regretting. Trump is definitely regretting choosing this guy, J.D. Vance. Well, well, what about the do you want a white president or a black president comment? Did you see that? Yeah. Race baiting. And, and nobody has said that. Nobody said, oh, I'm only voting for her because she's black. Now, people have said I'm voting for her because I would vote for anybody other than Trump. But I no, in terms of the masses, no one's really saying, oh, I'm going to vote for her just because she's black. I'm voting for her because she's black. I'm voting for her because she's a woman. I'm voting for her because she's mixed race. I'm voting for her because, she, bitch, I'm voting for her. What? Thank you. I'm voting for her. And the thing that's so crazy about this guy, J.D. Vance, is just a handful of years ago, he was tearing Trump up. He was talking all right. He was talking all kinds of shit. Like you, I've seen soundbite after soundbite of him tearing Trump up, and now all of a sudden he's on board with Trump. 
Like it is just, it's 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 despicable. I am voting for her because she's black. I am voting for her because she's mixed race. I am voting for her because she's a woman. I am voting for her because of those things. So, bitch, because y'all just some of y'all voting for Trump just because he's white. So what the fuck? Mm -hmm. So what? I'm voting for her because she's black. I'm voting for her because she's like the game. And I'm voting for her because she's 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 gonna support black jobs. <laughs> I'm voting for her because I think it's gonna take a woman to balance shit out. I believe that. I really do. I think a woman, and, and I'm and, and and I don't like to get into the male versus female thing, but. I really do think that it takes a, it's going to take a woman's disposition and a woman's temperament to um, really turn things around. I really do. And one of the things that I heard Oprah say years ago, when you educate a girl, you educate a nation. Yep. Because a girl is going to teach her father, her brother, because a lot of times girls will get education where men or boys in That's certain right. countries. She said, I'm voting for her because she's qualified. Correct. That too. And I mean, a lot of countries, especially like really impoverished countries where men or boys have to work to make money for the family. Girls are the ones that are usually educated, but those girls will come back and teach their brothers, their fathers, their husbands, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So when you educate a girl, you educate a nation. I'm voting for her because she is the better candidate. Mm -hmm. She's definitely overqualified yes, for, the, for the position. 